Hey Vikes, happy Thursday. I'm Haley. I'm Cameron, and this is your daily news. The Festival of Trees Work Night for Key Club is right after school today in E3. The Show Choir Cabaret is tonight at 7. Let's go hear more about it. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Bond. We're going to ask him a few questions about the cabaret coming up. So Mr. Bond, what is the cabaret? The cabaret is an opportunity for the show choir members to showcase uh, what they've been working on for the year, either through solos or duets. And then of course we have our own show, so it's uh, our first opportunity to do our full show for the community. Okay, and when will be taking place? So November 15th at 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay. And how much does it cost? So it's uh, $5 at the door, and uh, yeah, come out and support us. All right, there you go, Vikes. Now back to the anchors. Tickets are $5. Make sure to come out and support your Vikes. There was a binder left in the library yesterday. Stop in there to claim it. There was also a ring that was found in the girls' bathroom, so stop by the front office to claim that. The North Nook will be open during all four lunches tomorrow. Please make plans to stop by and purchase the latest Viking apparel. Congratulations to the following JV Scholars Bowl team for taking fourth place out of 16 teams at yesterday's meet. Good job, Vikes. Congratulations to the following being elected for the District, district Honors Orchestra. Congratulations to seaman, senior Meredith Lewis, who received the Best of Show Honors at Washburn University's 2018 High School Art Day for her mixed media work of art entitled Fur Baby. We will look back on some info about bowling after this quick commercial break. Today is Winter Weather Awareness Day, a day set aside each fall to promote safety preparedness for the potentially hazardous weather that winter brings each year. Did you know in Kansas there have been approximately 300 vehicle-related deaths in the past 20 years where snow or ice played some role? It's clear that the greatest weather-related risk to you and your family in Kansas is driving in ice and snow. To become aware of upcoming winter storms, be sure to stay up to date with the latest forecast from SVTV Weather. If you must drive on ice or snow, always remember to slow down, wear a seatbelt, and pay extra close attention to your surroundings. And before heading out, visit candrive.org to monitor the latest road conditions across the state. Be smart and drive safe this winter. I'm Cameron, and you're watching SVTV. Where'd you get all that food? I got it at Market Day. What's Market Day? Market Day is November 19th during seminar. Yumto will be selling cookies and brownies. The Hrachak Company will be selling cookies and ice cream. The Four Leaf Foods will be selling fruit snacks and fruit punch. And Beans will be selling pizza and snow cones. Remember, market day is November 19th during seminar. Bring your money. On Monday, there's an informational bowling meeting. Freshmen will meet at 10.50 in room 907. Sophomore, juniors, and seniors will meet at 3.15 in room 907. It has been cold outside. Let's go over to Josh Duncan to see if it's going to stay. Good afternoon to you today, a much nicer day than the past several have been as we make it back into the 50s by 3 p.m., 56 degrees for our temperature, and then after sunset, which is now shortly after 5 o'clock, we fall down into the lower 40s once again. But setting the stage for tomorrow, it's not nearly as cold in the, in the morning. This morning we were in the 20s, tomorrow morning the lower 30s just barely getting down to freezing. So it's a warmer start and also a slightly warmer finish with highs reaching the upper 50s tomorrow. So enjoy these next couple of days because we're talking big changes for Saturday. Saturday afternoon, temperature is going to be falling throughout the day, and that means wind chills in the 20s with a strong northwest wind. 
by the afternoon. So get ready for some much colder weather this weekend. And along with that comes our fourth snow chance of the season. We're talking about some isolated snow showers and flurries Saturday night, mainly after midnight, that could amount to a small accumulation. We'll take a closer look at that coming up tomorrow on SVTV. And now for your seven-day forecast, you can see that highs go from the 50s quickly down to the 30s, but try to rebound as we head toward the middle of next week. And as promised, here's your Thanksgiving Day preview. Currently, it's looking like highs in the 50s with a few clouds around, although a couple of models are still holding on to a rain chance. Now, Cameron and Haley, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We're leaving you with Teacher Dance Off. Make sure you go vote on Twitter and have a great day. Okay. It's called the fork in the garbage disposal. Ding 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 Oh yeah. Miss Riley taught us how to do this. Okay, I'm a, I'm a swing it this way. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a swing it. This